Governor John Kasich has a plan. It is a plan to cut income tax in the state of Ohio and to pay for it by raising taxes on oil companies. So where does this idea come from and would it even work? Governor Kasich talked with Ben exclusively about the plan and tonight is the focus of Reality Check. Governor John Kasich did an exclusive interview with me late last week. He wanted to pitch his proposal to lower the income tax rate in the state of Ohio. But before we get into how he's going to do that, let's talk about that rate. Ohio has the seventh highest state and local combined tax burden in the nation. According to a 2010 report by the Tax Foundation, Ohio is surrounded by states that, generally speaking, have much lower tax burdens. Michigan, Indiana, Kentucky, and West Virginia, they're all clustered in the middle of those national rankings at 27th, 28th, 25th, and 29th, respectively. Pennsylvania's tax burden is 11th highest in the nation. It's still lower than Ohio's. So Governor Kasich says he wants to lower that burden with a severance tax on oil and gas production. We are going to have, we hope, an enormously successful energy operation in the eastern part of the state. These companies are going to make a lot of money, and either they're going to take everything they make out of Ohio to their investors in faraway places, or Ohioans can benefit from some of it. It sounds good, right? The only problem with that, according to the left-leaning group Policy Matters Ohio, under the severance tax, Ohioans in the top 1% of income, earning at least $321,000 a year on average, would receive roughly $2,300 a year in reduced taxes. But the middle fifth of Ohio residents, making about 32000 to 49000 a year, they on average would get it back about $42. 42 bucks. The inference there? The tax break only helps the wealthy. But that's not entirely true, because in the state of Ohio, 70% of small business owners are taxed as personal income, which means this tax cut would largely benefit small business owners. Ohio now is the number one job producer in the Midwest and the number five job producer in the country, which is a staggering turnaround from where we were just a short, you know, 15, 16 months ago. I believe this will add to our economic strength. A number of business leaders believe the same thing. So while the governor is getting grief from the left on who will get the tax break, he's also getting grief from the right on where the money comes from. The Kasich administration projects they can create some $500 million in annual income tax cuts by increasing severance taxes on oil and gas production in Ohio. Now, oil is currently selling between $107 and $110 a barrel. But in Ohio, the current severance tax for oil, it's only 20 cents per barrel. There's also a three cent tax per 100 million cubic feet of natural gas. And there's no severance tax for natural gas liquids. And that could be the most lucrative of the materials that would be extracted through what's called horizontal fracturing or fracking. And state Republican lawmakers, they are not happy about that. House members have already stripped that proposal from Kasich's package of proposed adjustments for the state budget. Republicans say that imposing these higher taxes will force oil companies to go elsewhere. But is that true? Kasich is proposing 4% severance tax on fracked oil in Ohio. Now remember I told you that currently oil companies are only paying 20 cents per barrel regardless of how high the price of that barrel rises. So is 4% too high? The rate in Michigan and West Virginia, it's 5%. In Oklahoma, they charge 7.1%. Texas charges 7.5% severance tax on natural gas, and they have no income tax at all. And Alaska, they charge 25% to 50%. So here's what you need to know. There is one important issue here we have not covered yet. All these lawmakers and groups, they're fighting over what to do about these tax issues, when in reality, no one really knows how much or how little oil and natural gas there is under the state. But what Ohio needs to do, pay attention to what's happening in neighboring Pennsylvania. You see, there, lawmakers have taken the wait and see approach. And now they're scrambling because they have no severance tax and no environmental impact fees applied to these oil companies who are making a killing. And now the fight is on, taking place while the state is playing catch-up. And that is Reality Check.